I have for you some really cool and easy Dollar Tree crafts that you are going to love. Today we are crafting using Dollar Tree kitchen towels. They have such a selection every single season. And we're starting with this beautiful flower one. It's one of my favorites and I'm actually making several with this style. I'm going to remove all the little, you know, little ties that have them. And I'm just going to fold them in half. We're going to create a very quick pillow cover. You've seen these before. And I'm just going to show you one way that I love creating pillow covers, especially if you do not have a sewing machine. I'm just going to place the pillow right on top, making sure that the design is where I want it to be. And I'm just going to cut off the excess towel from each end. Then I'm just going to fold it outside in and then I'm just going to hot glue it. Hot glue goes a long way, my friends, especially if it's something that's going to be temporary and you're just going to switch it season to season. So using hot glue and my little silicone brush, I'm just going to secure them in place and making sure that I leave one end open. Then I'm going to take the other flower theme. They complement each other very well. I'm just going to cut off another piece. This one's going to be a little smaller. And I'm going to cut another piece on the other end, making sure that it's nice and snug to the pillow. This one I cut off a little too small, though. I would leave it about an inch larger. But nonetheless, it worked out really well. Once I had it secured, I'm just going to flip it inside out or outside in. And I'm just going to place the pillow right inside. You're going to see that this side is a little snugger than the other side, but it worked out well in the end. And then I'm going to place the other one on the other side. It's going to overlap in the center. The design's going to be nice and beautiful right in the front. And you're going to see that complementing floral design. I think it's so stunning. I love these. These will be great outdoors as well, but for indoors, it's perfect. All right, so now we're going to get on to this Dollar Tree banner. If you've seen them before, they have them in their crafting section. They're actually really good size. So I'm just going to open it up and then we're going to start hot gluing towels. We're going to use the same design that we used earlier and we're just going to hot glue each towel, each design on each flag. Now I left one natural color with the burlap on each end. And then I'm going to use my rotary cutter. It's just a little easier and just cut off any little ends and corners using my scissors. I'll alternate the middle flags from the solid floor ones to the ones that said home sweet home. My friends, I want to invite you to stay till the end of the video. At the end of this video, I am going to show you a quick clip on how I transformed my fireplace mantle from winter decor to spring decor. So if you want to watch, just stay till the end, it'll be there. I would love to connect with you on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. And if you are on those platforms, those links are down in the description box. When you are done watching, I'd love for you to check it out. All right, so now I'm almost done covering the flags. Like I said, I'm just going to cover the middle ones and leaving two burlaps, one on each end. I'm going to take some of these greenery faux ferns. I get these at Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to cut off the little thicker portion of the stem. And I'm just going to hot glue it in between each flag. This is going to add texture, greenery, and to be honest with you, I feel like it brought everything together. You don't have to add these firms. You can add any flower you want that you may already have at hand. But these is so beautiful. I love the way it turned out. This is my living room mantle, and I just love the way it looks. For this next Dollar Tree craft, I'm going to take a leftover piece of that same towel we just used, the one with all the beautiful flowers. This is a piece that's about the length of the towel by about five inches wide. I folded it in half inside out. I'm going to sew it on the long side, and then I am going to flip it outside in. And I'm not going to lie, this took a little bit. <laughs> I took a dowel and I just started pressing. It wasn't like it took forever, but it did take some work. So now I'm going to take some elastic. You can find these at Dollar Tree Crafter Square section. And I'm going to cut off a piece. This is about a 7-inch piece. 
And then I'm going to stick a bobby pin to one end. This is what I'm going to use to thread it all the way to the end of the other side. Now make sure you hold to the other end of the elastic. Otherwise, it's going to go right through the what will be a scrunchie. These will be perfect for summer and spring, especially summer for the side of the pool when your head is all wet and you just want a scrunchie that will absorb the water. All right, so now that I had the entire scrunchie threaded, I tied the elastic and then I moved the knots inside of the scrunchie and then I overlapped the two ends of the fabric. Then I sewed it using my uh, sewing machine again. I did this two more times because I wanted to create three of them. Friends, if you love reading blogs, I have a blog where I post my video tutorials into written format. I post every single week and I'd love to connect with you as well. The link to my blog is down below in the description box. All right, so I finished the other two. I sewed them and look how beautiful these look. These will make a great gift for any girl. I love these. I'm gonna keep one and I'm gonna give two to my daughter. It'll be perfect for summer. For this next Dollar Tree craft, okay, this has to be the easiest one. Maybe not. I think I have an easier one. All right, so I'm going to take this beautifully designed towel and a pot holder that matches the design. I'm going to put the blue part underneath it. I kept it just as it was folded, but I placed it right in the center of the towel. Then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine. I'm just going to sew it right down the middle. That's it. Once it's sewn, it's basically just folding up the pot holder. Now, I wanted to sew it, but it was way too thick. I could not get this in there. So then I said, okay, I'm just going to use some fabric tape and I'm just gonna use some heat to sew it. Well, these are pot holders. Heat does not go through it very well. That means it does its job, right? But I missed that part. So it didn't work, I removed it. And I'm just going to go to my hot glue, my faithful hot glue. I'm just going to add a lot of it. And then I'm just going to send it right on there. You can also sew it by hand with some thread. I didn't have any blue thread. So we're just going to hot glue it. And I think it's gorgeous. You can hang this in your kitchen. You can use it as a towel or just to add some cute wall decor. Okay, so here's the easiest Dollar Tree craft. I'm going to take this beautifully designed kitchen towel. I'm going to open it up. And then I am going to place a thrifted vase right in the center. Dollar Tree has similar vases to these, so you can use whatever vase you have on hand. I'm going to tuck in the shorter sides first. Then I'm going to bring in the taller sides and kind of overlap over the shorter ones so they hold them in place. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, holding it tightly in the center. And then I'm going to bring in a cute little pink ribbon that's going to be perfect to tie it in the center. I'm going to wrap it around twice. And then I'm going to just really tighten it and just make a very simple knot right in the front. Okay, so I contemplated cutting off the excess towel. I think it would look very cute. But I wanted to try something different and I left them just as is. But I did fold them and it kind of moved them to where I wanted them. I love the way they look. I want to add these faux tulips, which by the way, I have on my Amazon store and it is linked down below. But look how stunning this looks. So easy. You can use any towel you want. You can then remove the ribbon and use the towel in your kitchen. That's how easy it was. All right. Don't go anywhere. If you want to watch how I transformed my mantle from winter to spring, here's the clip showing you how I did it. All right, so this is how my winter mantle looked. It was very wintry, a lot of snow, and I just wanted to remove everything, get everything ready for spring. As I remove this, you're gonna see here in slow motion, my little full window fell. I was devastated. I thought it had broken, but it didn't. I was so happy it didn't. Okay, that was a little drama there. Now I cleaned everything, and now I'm gonna bring in this thrifted window. It's a real window that I thrifted a while back. I added some wire to the back and I hung it to the wall. I'm gonna place this beautiful wreath. It is from HomeSense and two full grassy plants on each side. Then I'm gonna add this love sign that I made recently using some moss balls from Dollar Tree and a thrifted frame, a lantern that I thrifted a while ago and some candle holders that I thrifted as well. 
This cutting board I also thrifted, I'm going to add it to the right side to complement the brown from the opposite side. This transformation was so fun. I love the freshness. I love how springy it looks. And it's so fresh. I just love it. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know what you think of all the crafts from today's video. And I would love to connect with you again on all of my social media platforms. If you have not subscribed to the channel, I would love for you to consider doing so. And as always, I have another video here for you to watch with tons more of inspiration. Click on it. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.